Neighborhood Connections in Londonderry, located in the Mountain Marketplace Shopping Plaza, is where one of four state resource centers opened this week to help those impacted by the flooding that hit the state on July 9th and 10th. Other such centers have been opened in Barrie, Ludlow, Johnson, Woodstock, and Hardwick. The center in Londonderry was opened from Tuesday, July 18th to Thursday, July 20th, and offered area residents a chance to stock up on some supplies they might need to tide themselves over during the emergency. Neighborhood Connections is a nonprofit agency located at the plaza and is hosting the American Red Cross, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, and state agencies including the Department of Health, the Department of Labor, and the Economic Services Division of the Department of Children and Families. We met up with London Dairy Select Board member Martha Dale, who gave us the overview of what was going on. It's a one-stop shop for, for flood recovery assistance. So this is what's called a multi-agency resource center, a MARC, and we've got, as you can see, or you'll see, the Red Cross, we have um, Salvation Army, we have State Department of Public Health, we have FEMA, we have State Department of Labor, we have Economic Development. So if anybody has any questions about their flood recovery, either individually or as a business, this is the spot to come. These agencies are here for a total of three days. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. Um, and this is a way for people to come in and just Post questions, how can I be helped at this point? So what happens then after next Thursday? Uh, will there be any kind of uh, setup here where people who come, let's say on Friday or next week sometime, would they be, they be able to at least get some information or? So this is actually the home of Neighborhood Connections, which is our local um, and regional, they service nine towns, um, social services agency. They've always done benefits entitlement, um, helping people with um, needs that they can't meet themselves. They will continue to be that provider here in town um, uh, far into the future. So if you are coming to us after this MARC or multi-agency resource center is gone, they'll still be able to connect you with those resources. So what's been the uh, number of people coming here? Is it, uh, has it been a lot or? I think it's been a surprising number, um, both in terms of how big it is, but also how small it is. It's uh, a flow of people. Um, people have been coming in from nine to five, uh, before work, during work, after work, um, but it's been a constant flow of people. What's happening now is I think people are starting to realize a couple of things. One is, oh, I did have damage and oh, that damage is potentially now becoming a problem. So for example, if you've had a basement flooded and with this heat and the continuing rain, it's starting to smell. You're starting to get potentially mold and mildew buildup. Those are the things that as they crop up now after the storm become important to address because you could have mold and that could become a dangerous health situation for you. Um, the other um, things that we are also providing, believe it or not, are water tests. Um, the Department of Health is here to help people with their well water assessment. Um, if they're worried about having had flood water affect their water source, they're also here to help you with um, water testing kits. Um, we'll have stuff laid out here on the on the breezeway of neighborhood connections here in Londonderry uh, as long as people need it. So you can come in the dark of the night and pick up a shovel or bleach or whatever. Then we heard from some of the folks who were there to assist area residents who were in need of help. One of them was David Young, a public health specialist with the state's Department of Public Health. And so our agency is here with some of our Medical Reserve Corps volunteers handing out well water testing kits. Any individual that has a private well and is concerned about what flooding has done can come see us and we'll set them up with those basic tests. We also have resources available for COVID questions, WIC benefits. If you are a WIC client or wondering about whether you could be, you can actually come down and talk to us and we'll get you set up with some of our specialists and be able to have those conversations. Now for folks who uh, might not be able to make it here today or tomorrow, uh, what should they do if they discover a need, let's say, over the weekend or next week? Uh, so anyone who has a concern about their well, especially, can actually reach out to any one of our district offices, the Department of Public Health. We have 12 across the state. 
make a call into the district office and ask about getting put on the testing water list. And what we'll do is we'll take your contact information, name, email, mailing address, phone number, and we'll actually transmit that to the lab and they'll get one sent out to you in the mail. If you can't make it to one of the locations to pick it up, that would be your best option. The alternative is you can always check us out on helpvermont.gov and just put in the box up there where it says search drinking water and then you'll get a link to the main drinking water page that has all the questions about flood response, drinking water now, whether you should boil, whether you should filter, and anything else you need. At the next table over, we heard from Susan Graff of the Agency of Human Services. Sure, so we're, we want to make sure that people who lost their benefits, so their three squares, any food that was in their refrigerator or freezer due to you know, loss of electricity or flooding, um, can, can know that they can get replacement benefits. Uh, so we're, we want to make sure that they know that they can come to the MARC, um, see our economic services uh, benefit specialists, and get those benefits replaced. And certainly if people have a loss of income, they've lost their job due to the, the flooding, they can also access uh, economic services for any uh, you know, disaster uh, benefits they may be eligible for. So we're providing lots of other resources um, through the Agency of Human Services, and we want to make sure that people know to go to vermont.gov slash flood for all the resources that are available to them um, for the flooding relief. Dwight Johnson, the board president of Neighborhood Connections, described their role. We're primarily uh, serving as sort of a coordinating center for this disaster, and we're very fortunate to have everybody from the Red Cross to volunteers to the town as well represented. Uh, as you probably know from the adjacent room here, we have just about everything that a person could look for uh, to deal with this disaster. We have people coming in every minute and we're trying to get the word out further so that anybody who has any kind of a problem related to the storm uh, can find assistance here. On Tuesday, July 25th, we'll be talking on location with the executive directors of Neighborhood Connections and the Stratton Foundation, another organization that's been helping with flood relief, about their ongoing efforts. But on this day, Wednesday, July 19th, the Neighborhood Connections office was a busy place, buzzing with activity, and the steady stream of people coming in to look for a helping hand showed that they were helping to make a difference. For the GNAT-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.